Right, good day and welcome. And in today's video, we're going to look at the if function. Okay, so with our if function, we are basically saying that we want to put in a formula that is going to do something if a criteria is met, and it must automatically do something if the criteria is not met. So in this case, I've got two numbers here. Um, I've got 80 and I've got 45, and I'm saying that my criteria is if whatever is in the cell is going to be greater than the number 70. Okay, so in other words, from 71 onwards, um, then it must display the word pass. If the criteria is not met, right, then it must display the word fail. So this must be less than 70. So let's put in a formula um, and see how this works. So if I go equals if and I open my bracket and I say, remember, if whatever is inside of D8, if that is greater than 70, I put in my semicolon, what must it display? It must display the word pass and because it's text, it must be in inverted commas. Put in my semicolon again to separate. And now we're saying, if whatever is in D8 is greater than 70, it must display pass. If not, it must display the word fail. Close our bracket, hit enter, and you'll see it now displays pass. But if I change that to 65, you'll see it immediately changes to fail. You can see there how it changes. And that is our if function. You'll see we have our if, we then have our criteria, we have what happens when the criteria is met, and we have what happens when the criteria is not met. And that is our if function.